welcome to today's headlines. CNG disagrees with Indigo over call for Nambicano's release. CNG disagrees with Indigo over call for Nambicano's release. My dear listeners, from wherever you listen from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG has warned that the renewed pressure by Igbo leaders for the unconditional release of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Lipop is a recite for greater conflict. While reacting to recent calls by the Council of Elders of Oanese in Igbo worldwide, and the Anambra State Governor Charles Soludo for Unamdekano to be released without trial. CNG spokesperson Abdulaziz Suleiman, in a statement on Sunday night, said the federal government should discountenance any such cause to avoid setting dangerous precedents in the country. The Igbo leaders, after a meeting in Abuja on Friday, said they are planning to organize a peace summit to discuss ways of addressing insecurities in the country and the southeast especially and the desire that Unamdekanu should be released among others. However, the CNG said, It is unpatriotic and unreasonable for leaders to openly shield IPO and other authors of mindless violence and separatism who see it as their duty to actualize what their fathers started in 1966, namely to bring about the realization of a separate state of Biafra through the pulse of arms and terrorist tactics. Today, everyone can see that the diabolical scam plan and exhibited in the action and clamors of IPOL, supported morally and politically by the vast majority of the planned and affrighted Igbo elite, politician, traditional rulers, business persons, and a larger population of this ethnic group that has pushed Nigel to the precipice. We are convinced that this renewed determined pressure from the Igbo leaders is part of a wider plot to see through the secession of the Southeast from Nigeria. It is now real and cannot be avoided or deferred any longer without terrible consequences. As the representatives of various interest groups from Northern Nigeria, the CNG has watched and studied this event carefully and with considerable restraint and maturity to the point of condoning and accommodating several unreasonable and unacceptable actions that have been perpetrated against Nigerians collectively and Northerners in particular. Of 
of late, however, the calls for the unconditional release of Kanu have pushed matters to a point whereby silence has become complicity and inaction can no longer be an option with unprovoked evictions, attacks and killings of northerners in various parts of the southeast resulting from the eight campaigns and propaganda being conducted by regional and ethnic agitators solidly backed by their leaders the cng alleged the coalition of northern groups cng has warned that the renewed pressure by Igbo leaders for the unconditional release of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Lipo is a recipe for greater conflict. While reacting to recent calls by the Council of Elders of Oaneze Indigo Worldwide and the Anambra State Governor Charles Soludo for Namdekanu to be released without trial. CNG spokesperson Abdulaziz Suleiman in a statement on Sunday night said the federal government should discontent on any such cause to avoid certain dangerous precedents in the country. The Igbo leaders after a meeting in Abuja on Friday said they are planning to organize a peace summit to discuss ways of addressing insecurity in the country and the southeast especially and the desire that one of the country should be released among others i've come to the end of our today's news please do drop out the comment section